Hi, I'm Jason, and today I'm going to give you my review of the Guide 10 Plus Adventure Kit from Goal Zero. As you probably already know, this is a portable solar USB charging device. So basically that means you can charge almost all of your mobile devices, your iPhones, your iPads, your Android devices, GPS units, MP3 players, digital cameras, and the like, all from the power of the sun. So what's in the kit? Well, first you'll see it's the Nomad 7. And what that is, it's, that's this, which includes the two solar panels. And now the two panels are able to output a maximum of seven watts, which is where the Nomad 7 comes into play. Okay, the rest of the kit, I'll put it down right here in front of me so that you can see it. On the back side of the Nomad 7 is this convenient little carrying case, okay? And inside the case, you have all of the accessories that come with the kit. All right, so first and foremost, you have the Guide 10 Plus, which is a portable battery pack that is essentially four rechargeable AA batteries that fit into this housing, and then you can use this housing to power your, use it as a backup battery for iPhones, iPads, Android devices, things of that nature. All right, then next we have a 12 volt female adapter, which plugs into the backside of, of the uh, Nomad 7. Then you have a standard USB cable, which fits into the Nomads, or the, I'm sorry, excuse me, the Goal Zero. Then you have a solar cable, which allows you to charge the Guide 10 Plus off of the Nomad 7. Then obviously you have two user guides. And here you have an adapter for the Guide 10 Plus. So basically, you can take your AA batteries out and put this adapter in, and now it will work with three or four AAA batteries. All right. And then here on the back of the Nomad 7 is your solar ports. And as I said, it has, hopefully you can see, the adapter for the 12 volt. It has a USB, and then this, the port for the Guide 10 Plus. Now we're looking at the Nomad 7, and as you can see, it has two solar panels that are approximately six inches wide by roughly nine inches tall. This, just this alone, it weighs a little less than one pound. So how does this work? Well, first and foremost, you have to flip it over and go to your solar ports. Now, I have an iPhone, so it, the kit did not come with the standard iPhone or Apple charger. So basically, what you do is you take your cable, plug it into the USB port here, Okay, flip it back over, grab your phone, plug it into your phone, and I don't know if you, hopefully you heard that, but it did chirp. I'll do it again, I'll unplug it. So it's no longer charging, and then I'll plug it back in. There you go, and now it's charging. And so basically what you really wanna do here is you really wanna focus on putting your solar panels directly facing the sun. So whichever way the sun is facing, you wanna have it angled at, that, at the sun uh, as best as possible, because that's gonna allow the solar panels to absorb as much of the sunlight and charge your device as fast as possible. All right, so let's say you are not gonna charge a phone and you instead you'd prefer to charge the Guide 10 Plus. Well, so all you need is you need the Guide 10 obviously, you need the solar cable and the Nomad 7. Basically, it's pretty simple. All you do is you plug this into the solar input here Plug that in, and then you flip it over, and you look here and you use the Guide 10 port, all right? So you plug that in, and now when you flip this over, you can see that the light is blinking, and that is indicating that it's charging. Now, using this, it takes approximately two to four hours to charge the Guide 10 because it depends on how the strength of the sun, uh, how much angle you have, if there's any clouds rolling through, things of that nature. So now we're gonna talk about the Goal Zero Guide 10 Plus. So now the way this works is, again, you grab your cable, plug this, oops, have to plug it in the right way, plug it in like that. Now you grab your phone and you plug this in. Now nothing happened, that's because there is an on off switch here and hopefully you can see it here. Right here, this little uh, slider indicates, so you have off, on, and then a flashlight. So you slide this over one, 
Okay, there you go. Now we're charging and the light is green. And the green light, a solid green light means that there is ample power supply to charge a device. If this light turns to a solid orange, that means that it's running low and it's almost depleted on, on power. And then when it's a solid red, that means that there's no more power in the Guide 10. The Guide 10 Plus will power almost all USB devices, including iPhones, iPads, Android devices, uh, and things of that nature. However, to charge an iPhone or just a standard mobile phone, uh, it will take approximately two to four hours to charge an iPhone. Uh, on my test that I ran, it charged the iPhone, which was completely dead, wouldn't even turn on, to 100% in under two hours. And off of one full charge of the Guide 10, you can get between two to three full charges on the iPhone. On my test, I was only able to get a little over two. Now I tried running the test to charge my iPad. The Guide 10 was fully charged, and again, the iPad had no power, wouldn't turn on. So when I connected the two, after two hours, the iPad had 19% battery, and the Guide 10 was completely dead. So you're not going to get a full charge off of the Guide 10 to charge an iPad, uh, and I'm assuming that's going to be very similar to other uh, tablets. The other thing to note is that there is a USB input. Now that means that you can take the cable that came with it and you can plug this USB device here and then this end into a laptop or a desktop computer and you can charge the, the Guide 10. Now in my test it took approximately five and a half hours from the USB port of a desktop computer to charge the Guide 10 to 100%. Uh, on a laptop, it took approximately seven hours, and seven hours seems to be more in line with what Goal Zero says. One thing I don't like about the Goal Zero is the fact that it does not have a percentage indicator uh, or power meter, so to speak, on how much juice is left inside the Guide 10. All there is is the little blinking light, and to me, that, that seems a little, uh, little unsettling because, again, you don't know how much energy is left in the device. So in review, I think the Guide 10 Plus Adventure Kit from Goal Zero is a very worthwhile investment. Whether you like to get off the grid and go disappear in the, off in the wilderness or in the desert or wherever have you for a few days and you want to make sure you have, have plenty of supply and energy to your GPS unit or your mobile phone, it's great for that. Uh, it's great in case of there's an emergency, say you lose power for a few days at your house uh, and you won't be able to charge your phone, but with this you can. So I think it's, it's a very worthwhile investment. And overall, I think it, it, it's, it's a well-built, well-constructed, well-thought-out piece of equipment. And if you want, you can buy them directly through Goal Zero's website. On their site, they run about $160. Now, if you want to do, you can do what I did. And I bought mine through Amazon.com uh, on their site on Amazon, I should say, it ran for about $120. And there's a link below this video, so if you want to go ahead and click that affiliate link, you can, it'll be take you right to Amazon.com to this part exact kit that I have, and, and you can get it for roughly $120. So, thanks for watching, and I hope it was helpful.